parity check matrix. Let me repeat. Operations of the channel encoder uh, is determination of code words for the given information word, determination of check bits. And this can be done by means of parity check matrix. An NK linear code can be uniquely defined by the system of M linear equations that express parity check bits, M parity check bits, by the information bits. It is normally assumed that the weight of each code word is even, such that the code is called even parity check code. Uh, just simply parity check matrix uh, uh, or parity check code. These terms will be used further on. Uh, parity check matrix can be introduced. This matrix contains as many rows as we have parity check bits and n columns. And from each row, we may, cal we may calculate one parity check bit. Uh, so we may say we may express this information contained in this matrix by equations by equations um, uh, or in matrix form uh, these equations are presented here parity check matrix multiplied by a code word uh, transpose, transpose uh, uh, code word uh, vector column vector is zero for systematic code at the left side of a code word we have information word and parity check bits are at the right. Then it is easy to say that P1 is designated by the, these, these bits, Pm is designated by these bits, mm, uh, and uh, we may then formulate uh, parity check sums, like here. Each parity check bit is expressed by uh, information bits and components of the parity check matrix. These are called parity check sums. For non-systematic code, it is normally assumed that all M check bits are also determined solely by information bits. In each parity check equation, only one check bit is present. And uh, this means that columns of H that are in check bit positions should contain only one non-zero entry. That way, check bits can be designated directly from information bits and there is no need to solve system of equations. If we have a systematic code, then we, it is easy to prove. I'm not going to discuss this slide in details. It is easy to prove that from generator matrix, it is easy to find the parity check matrix and vice versa. So these two descriptions uh, are equivalent. Uh, sometimes we are using generator matrix for some codes. For some other codes, the parity check use of parity check matrix is more more reasonable. For example, this is a generator matrix of a code already considered, and this is a parity check matrix uh, uh, for this code. So this part is parity matrix of G transpose gives this part of H. Syndrome-based decoding. Let me repeat that this is true. Matrix H multiplied by a code word uh, transposed, code word column vector is zero. Uh, then, if the received word belongs to the set of code words, then multiplied by transposed and multiplied by H gives zero as well. If not, then we have a erroneous transmission. And this vector, column vector, is called a syndrome. This vector is called a syndrome. It, con it consists of m bits. These bits are calculated from parity check bits for the given uh, received sequence. And the parity check matrix is easy to calculate uh, bits of the syndrome. And uh, information relating to an error added to a code word uh, is, is contained in this syndrome, error syndrome. Then error detection and correction decoding strategies can be updated, these strategies presented before. Error correction decoding. So we calculate the syndrome. We calculate the syndrome for each error pattern, we calculate the syndrome. Then if syndrome is zero for the received uh, 
uh, for the received word, we set uh, v star, uh, w star uh, equal v. If syndrome is different than zero, it means that we have a, an error. And then um, it is possible to find a corresponding error pattern. How? It will be explained later on uh, by two approaches, uh, syndrome error pattern lookup table or straightforward like for uh, humming codes. This is example, same code. And uh, let me assume five transmissions, five words at the output. This word, okay. Calculated syndrome zero zero, which means it, it is no error. And the decision is that the uh, output of the decoder is same as the received sequence. Same here. For this received word, the syndrome is non-zero. So if we have only detection question mark, we may go further on and try to correct. We are looking on columns of matrix H and we can see that in two columns we have this syndrome, which means that it is impossible to distinguish whether it is error on the third or fifth bit. And then uh, correction is not unique. Uh, for this case here, we have the same story because we have a, a syndrome one zero in two columns so the unique correction is impossible for this received word we have a, a syndrome one one which is only in column two which means that we have an error in column two uh, columns of matrix h are syndromes of v and syndrome points out an error pattern if the same syndrome is in two or more columns, then uh, unique uh, correction is impossible, like in, the, in these cases that we have here, one and two. Uh, to correct every single error, obviously all columns um, must be distinct, all columns of matrix H, not like here. And the syndrome position points the erroneous bit, 